When you send a message from your side of the world to a friend on another side of the world, networking is there each step of the way making sure the message gets delivered correctly. Behind the scenes, the OSI model is what helps make it all work. When studying for the CCST networking exam, it is clear that the OSI model is an important topic. We need to know the function of each layer as well as which key protocols are associated with each one. The OSI reference model aims to provide a clearer understanding of the processes needed for proper network communications. Think of sending data like sending a package. Before it gets to its destination, it has to be packaged, labeled, routed, transported, and finally delivered. Each of those steps is exactly what the OSI model describes, but for sending data. With the OSI model, we can organize how communication happens within a network. The OSI model captures the journey into seven steps or layers. And as you dive deeper, the layers become more and more technical. Let's start with the physical layer. This is where data travels through actual hardware like ethernet cables or fiber optics on a device. Datalink handles the local delivery between devices on the same network by using MAC addresses. The network layer routes the best path to send data by using IP addresses. The transport layer breaks data into chunks and ensures a reliable or quick delivery depending on if it's using protocol TCP or UDP. The session layer establishes and manages a connection between applications, like when you safely log on to a site. The presentation layer can help make data more readable by decryption, or it can encrypt or compress data. At layer seven, application provides services directly to user applications like your browser using protocols like HTTP and FTP. Learning the OSI framework makes it easier to troubleshoot, to learn new concepts in the future, and to start thinking like a networking professional. Understanding how data moves through systems will be a great help during the CCST networking exam. Now you know that if something goes wrong in a network, whether it's a slow connection or a failed download, this model can help networking professionals figure out where the real problem is. You can get started with the OSI model and other topics by checking out the Cisco Networking Academy's CCST courses. Don't forget, you can also check out Cisco U's free tutorials.